Hello everyone, TechSpeeder here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new Windows build, build 15042. Microsoft also came out with a build for Windows 10 Mobile, which is 15043, but in this video I am covering just the Windows build, build 15042. So let's dive right into it. In this build, there is not a lot of new features, which basically is expected at this point. Microsoft is planning to release the creators update before long so they're basically doing a lot of bug bashing so a couple small tweaks in this build new things when you set up a new device what they call the out-of-box experience the OOBE there's a new Cortana animation if that's something you're into and also with Microsoft Edge one new thing in this build is a prompt to enable Flash in Microsoft Edge. Back in Windows build 15002, Microsoft introduced a click to run Flash by default in Microsoft Edge for better security. And Microsoft has added to the URL bar, so basically where you type the website in, a little puzzle icon to indicate when Flash has been blocked and then you can hit Flash to allow flash once or every time you return to that site. So a little feature there that may be nice for some people. So let's say in the past you're going to read a book online and that works well for the most part, but there has been a lot of feedback to Microsoft about things that they could do to improve the experience. So, okay, so one of the main things that they changed is if you actually download a book to your local computer for example it will show the local file path up here in the browser bar so that you know where it's at so they also made a little couple other changes uh, if you change the read aloud settings when reading an EPUB book in Microsoft Edge those settings will now be preserved for other books that have been opened after that and other than that that's pretty much all the new things one thing you will notice in this build which indicates Microsoft is getting ready to ship it is there is no water stamp mark down here with that big string of the Windows build and the release ring and all that sort of thing so just to prove that we actually are on this build the latest build you can run win ver from the start menu and you can see here that it is the latest bill 15042 so just a kind of indication if you're not sure if you're on the latest build that is one way to tell since Microsoft has removed this watermark stamp now since they are getting ready to release this build there has been a boatload of bug fixes in this respective build so let me get into those you should no longer see initializing when you're attempting to download new builds or updates. So if we go under update here, you no longer should say initializing when it's downloading. They shouldn't get stuck at 0% and neither do we have the error message up here that some settings are managed by your organization in a bunch of previous builds. And Okay, so Microsoft also fixed an issue when you would open a PDF in edge that sometimes images would be missing in that there's also the new share icons are vis visible in microsoft edge so the new sh share icon i think i touched on the latest last build they introduced that share icon so if the share icon is now concurrent there in edge as well as in windows inc workspace and the uh, screen sketch also another improvement that they added to this build and to be honest I'm very glad to see and I think it's a really good tip as well is that if you share let's say we're going to share a file here and Microsoft is now basically showing suggested apps well you can now right click here and turn off show app suggestions so if you want to get them back just right click here and you can show them once again but very cool because to be honest I don't really feel like being advertised every time I go to share a picture or something like that so I don't know if this works on this doesn't look like the right click to disable the suggested apps to install here is working but at least on this screen that is so just a small tip you can enable that 
Okay, so as far as other improvements, there is a whole list of them. Again, like I always say, I'll post the article below. There is just a whole list, probably 20 or 30 items. Didn't actually do a count of them, but there is a lot of changes. And to Microsoft's credit, there are very few issues actually with this build. There's a couple issues, one small percentage of a small percentage of PCs may fail to update to this build due to, due to a corrupt registry key. So if you have trouble upgrading, check out the link below on Microsoft's blog. They have some tips on how to get around that. And also if you have Windows Hello, face authentication may not work on a Surface Pro 4 and Surface Book. It might come back with the error camera couldn't turn on on the lock screen. So those are a couple errors that are still in this build there's maybe a handful of other ones but to be honest you should go check out the blog look at everything there and if you're thinking about getting on the fast ring insider build i would say either this build or the next one would actually be a really good candidate to get on to test some of the new features because microsoft didn't announce in this blog post but i was reading online this morning that it does appear like the windows creator update which was expected to show in April is actually going may be coming earlier, perhaps in March. Uh, different people online were digging into some of the Microsoft sites and some of the other places they look. And previously they were saying 1704 was the version number of this creator's update. But now they're seeing a lot of information saying, hey, this build may be 1703, which would indicate the year is 17, 2017, and they always go by the month then after that. So March, of course, is the third month. So you could actually maybe see this build come to the market, the creator's update, a little quicker than anticipated. So, hey, I just thought I'd throw that out there. And if anyone else has any information for me, feel free to put that in the comment section below. Okay, well, I believe that's all for this build video. A lot of these couple next builds will probably be a little shorter videos because they're not really adding as much features more bug bashing but hey we're good to see that stuff um, happening as well so hope you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my youtube channel and as always thanks for watching